Hello and welcome to the 16 tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we'll be looking at setting the sprite position. We'll be using the source code from the 12 tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Though we have modified the sprite's texture size, origin and so on, the actual position of sprite hasn't changed. Fortunately, SFML provides really easy to use functionality set to set the sprite's position. SFML also provides two different methods for setting the position of sprite. You, we will cover the first one in this video, which just changes the sprite position to a specified point in 2D space, aka within the window size. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. So to change the sprite position, we're just going to do sprite dot set position. And this either takes, we'll show you, you can either set a vector to f or just two float variables. We like using vector to f, so that's what we're going to use. And the position that we're going to change it to is 300 by 200. But, but before we actually run this, we're actually going to comment this out and show you how it looks. You should know, but let's just show you anyway. You'll just be in the top left corner. Here. Yeah. And now let's just uncomment this line, we run it. So it's positioned here now. The origin point is still in the top left because we haven't modified that in this tutorial, or you can if you want to. Just bear in mind when setting the position, a positive value in the x axis moves it to the right, a positive value in the y axis moves it down. So because the because uh, zero zero in in SFML is in the top left corner right here, you can get the position of a sprite by using the get position method. That's really easy. We'll show you how to do that. You, what you need to do is sprite dot get position. This just basically returns the SF vector to f, and then you just get the value that you want. We're going to do dot x std and line now let's just rerun this and we have yeah we have it printed out as 300 and that is it really the like we just mentioned the get position returns a sf vector 2f so you could assign it to a variable of type sf vector 2f and use it later on uh, multiple times with less overhead instead of constantly getting that function again and again but if it's changed then you might want to update the position that you've got a sprite is positioned using this origin point uh, which is by default zero zero uh, which is in the top left of the sprite we went over this in the previous tutorial just bear in mind when setting the origin point just keep it consistent so all items use the same origin point as this helps overcome issues unless you explicitly require different origin points. At the start of this video, we did mention that there are two different ways to position sprites. The next method will be covered in the next tutorial, which is moving a sprite relative to its current position. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.